Hello, my little boiled sprouts. How are you? How are you finding the heat? Uh, I must admit, I've had a couple of nights of um, really disrupted sleep, which is unusual. Um, but uh, anyway, so so welcome to the Love Off Boon Broadcasting Corporation again. Uh, in my garden, I have just finished a meeting with Dorset FA. It was a league meeting, so it was for the secretaries and chairman of each league type thing, um, just to give us an update on how things are going to work in the new season. We haven't got a date yet for the ability council league, but I'm sure we'll probably set that at the AGM next week. Um, so a couple of points to come out of it was one that um, each club is being advised to have their own COVID officer, um, which is um, was kind of mooted before anyway. So, um, so I am going to take on that mantle for Palo Abilities, um, and it just means that I will deal with all things COVID um, and keep you updated on things mainly because uh, I kind of know the rules on you know how many we can train and how many spectators and that sort of thing and not that it's a major issue for us but so yes that's that the other thing is that there aren't there are going to be coaching courses this year but they're mainly for people who've already joined clubs and are waiting to go on their courses so I know there's a few of you that we're going to put through your level one at some point it's not looking as if that's going to be this year and th there'll be no courses at all between january and march either so i'll come back to you in a minute but for those of you that are waiting for your emergency first aid and safeguarding if it's due for in your uh there are there's extensions to that so we haven't got to worry about that for the time being you are still able to coach for those of you that are going to uh, eventually go on your level one courses, there is a new course out which is called the FA Playmaker course and essentially what that means is that it is a four and a half hour online course which you would be able to do with your support if you want to do or parents if you felt necessary to do that, felt it necessary. Um, and I believe you have to have a DBS check, which is your police check, but that's normal. Uh, and also, I mean, you've got to have a DBS check, whether you're a coach, uh, secretary now, or um, even a referee, you know, you've got to have your DBS checks. Um, I believe that... Um, it covers safeguarding in the four and a half hour course. I haven't done it yet. I will do it anyway, just to see what it's like. I don't need to, but I'll do it anyway. So for those of you that are due to go on courses, there's certainly two of you at the moment, I will speak to you in due course and we'll get you on there. And what that means is that once you've done that, you are what's known as a coach helper. You can help in the sessions as long as you're supervised by a qualified coach or manager, then that is fine. So I will be in touch with you about that. Um, and um, yeah, there was a few other things to come out of it, but it was mainly COVID based, slightly different structure to Dorset FA now. So um, Gemma Tewkesbury will now be the secretary of the Ability Council League, um, not Grant. Um, uh, the safeguarding team are still the same, which is um, uh, Zoe and Kevin Pike. Um, and uh, so that won't change much. Uh, Zoe has another slightly different role as well. Um, I will put up the new structure uh, in due course, uh, the new Dorset FA structure. Um, also, Natalie is involved in the Ability Council League still, so that's good. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. There were some other bits in there, but I haven't had time to digest it all yet. So, so uh, yeah, what have you been doing in the heat? <sighs> Uh, the youth football starts tomorrow. I know there's not many of you because some are away on holiday, but that's fine. Um, so, parents, uh, mums, dads, boys and girls, 
uh, guardians, etc. You have been sent an email today by Andy, our um, club secretary, which is the letter that I posted on our Facebook page um, last week, which you will have hard copies of this week, i.e. paper copies, um, just explaining how football works now in these COVID times. Um, the do's and don'ts and why certain decisions have been made on how we train and that sort of thing so um, so you'll get a copy of that this weeky poos um, which is the day after tomorrow isn't it no idea what the weather's doing yet but uh, hopefully it's not as hot as it's been during the day um, my right buttock melted the other day and fell off I told you I had to glue it back on today uh, I was I actually spent the whole day in the office, so I had air conditioning. But I got home from work this evening, and before the meeting, my left buttock actually melted and fell off. So I had to glue that one back on, which is why I'm sitting awkwardly. Anywho, <coughs> thank you for your time and patience. Jacques de Jules. Hello, China. Uh, that was kind of a cross between uh, Donald and Boris. Uh, let's have a competition. Who of those is the most bumbling incompetent? No politics. Um, Jokes to yours. What is the tallest building in Pool? It's the library because it has so many stories. <laughs> so many stories. See, so a story is a a a a. Le a a floor level, so it's ten stories, ten floors high. Or, of course, it's a story reading the book. There you go. You're more than welcome on that one. Every day's a school day. Uh, what else? Okay. I don't get these odourless chemicals. They just don't make any sense. So, sense. Sense as in sense as in, you know sensible type sense or sense as in s-c-e-n d-s which is sense the smell and odor there you go i'm like your worst school teacher have a great day tomorrow i uh, look forward to seeing the youth tomorrow night and uh bye